was surprisingly very relaxed. I was just trying to focus on getting a birdie each hole and if not, just finishing off with a par and just trying to play it safe. And it worked out eventually. Uh, my mindset was just, I gotta make this because I'm just thinking he's gonna make it. So I had to make it to stay alive. Windermere, Florida. Please welcome Bridget Ma. Another dream come true for me. This feels unreal. I, I still can't believe I won this. And um, it's just really nice to play in AJGAs, and it's really nice to be playing better and better every tournament. So thank you. For your 2021 Arnold Palmer Invitational Junior Honoring Jim Bell Champion, shooting a 71, 68, 76, one under par for the tournament. From Winter Garden, Florida, we have Cooper Tate. A lot. This course is pretty sweet, so uh, I'm pretty happy with how I played. I just stayed patient. I got off to a really good start the first two days, so today I just had to stay patient out there because I didn't have my best game, but I managed to get it done. adrenaline when I get on the course, you know, just sticking those shots in close and draining those putts for birdie, putting pressure on my opponents, um, and just having fun. <laughs> I just, I love the pressure of being able to like make a putt, like a 30 footer for birdie or a five footer for par to like maintain my leading positions. I think I feel a little more proud of myself now than last week. Feels incredible. Being able to just represent uh, right where my new home is going to be. Uh, I'm moving in a couple weeks, so it's it's just surreal at this point. Just knowing what what the what you've accomplished is incredible. It's a great feeling. I mean, incredible rounds come with patience. You gotta give yourself looks and take the looks you get. And sometimes they don't fall. Sometimes they do. Well, this is one of my last junior tournaments, yeah. so it was great to be able to finally uh, bring one home. I have two more left, but uh, it, it's. It's been awesome being able to compete in these junior tournaments. Today was a little bit tougher than the last two days. I had a double on my first hole, but I was able to regroup and keep myself in the presence and just take the best score I could get. And that resulted in the plus one, one under in the following couple. I just kept myself in the moment and tried not to look too far ahead. It hasn't really sunk in yet. This has been a tough summer for me. Like I've had a lot of missed cuts. So. It feels really nice to put this on my resume and move forward and just be able to have that bag. It's pretty nice and move on. So that's really exciting. Just late going into this week, I've been hitting it well. Um, I mean, the first two rounds, I mean, I, I, didn't, I didn't make a bogey for 41 holes. Felt like I felt like I did okay today and uh, just kind of let the golf course come to me, staying patient out there. It's great. I mean, that's my last tournament of the summer uh, as well. So. Um, Time like this uh, really couldn't be any better. Yeah, so my mom's out here. Uh, she travels with me. Um, pretty, I mean, she's always with me, um, and she's, I mean, she's the best. She's always taking care of me and uh, always with me. I mean, no matter what, and um, it's uh, really good to kind of get my get my first win with her here. So it feels really good. Oh, three is my lucky number, so I kind of had more motivation to get three, um, but now I have three bags. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with the other one, but. Yeah, three's my lucky number, so that was part of the reason why I wanted to win. So. Um, Kara is such a great friend. We both have the similar attitude on the golf course. We're both really fiery, so it's really fun to build off of each other's birdies. Well, I knew, I knew I had the two putt to win. I looked on the leaderboard and I just, I just said, just hit it easy. I mean, don't run it by. And I happened to make it. It was just a really good roll. I wasn't going to run it by. Just trusted my read and went for it. I'm so excited. It was a great timing. It was just. I wanted to do it all summer. I was my, actually my number one goal is 
to win AJG and it finally happened, I was so happy. I mean, I think uh, my playing kind of increasingly got better over the week. My putting definitely did. And I think that had a lot to do with the amount of time I warmed up for the round. Well, um, both yesterday and today, because I had early tea time, 7 and 8, I got here before anyone else did. I was the only person on the range. And um, I just started hitting balls, and today I paid extra attention. I spent maybe like 15, minute, 15 minutes putting. I think it really proved myself that I sort of belonged in the pack because before I played sort of like in the lower bit of ADGA tournaments, so it's been like a huge confidence boost. It means a lot. Um, it's an honor to play AJGAs and it's even more of an honor to win AJGAs considering they're the premier tournament organization in America. So being able to win one of these for my first time is what has been one of my goals for a long time and finally achieved that is awesome. Uh, my sports psychologist told me to put my big boy pants on and that kind of flipped the switch in me and ever since that moment I've played really, really well. Uh, my swing has always been there, it's just been a mental struggle.